Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. I'm doing another little cardigan uh, in a, another different pattern here today. I'm doing a, um, I've just started to, to do a tutorial on my other channel for this little, little one I'm doing. It's a, like a kind of open moss stitch, just knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two for one row, then purl one row, and then alternate the stitches instead of knit two, purl two, with purl two, knit two. And then purl another row. So there's only four rows to the um, the pattern, and it's another one I'm going to be putting on my Etsy shop when I get it finished. But I will be going down my granddaughter's pretty soon, actually. I just thought I'd do this little video first before I go down and. I'll show you I've just finished. This is the little the peach rosebud lace cardigan that I've just finished this one for to put on uh, my Etsy shop. I haven't put it up yet but uh, I'm going to when I get time, probably later on after I come back from my granddaughter's. So that was quite easy and and this one here is it's one of the, this is one of the balls I got from Carol, who sent me some uh, happy mail a little while ago. And this one is, I've got the label for it somewhere, oh yeah. This is GMC Brett Supreme Soft and Gentle Baby Double Knit. Well, you can see it for the, the light, it's pretty pale, uh, the colour. But it says, it's... 70% acrylic and 30% polyamide. It's machine washable and it's it says 3.5 or 4, 4 millimeter needles. But we don't use 3.5 in this um, most of the time in this country. I think you can get those size needles because I have I've got them. But I use 3.25 for the um the ribs. It doesn't say what colour it is, it looks like a a neutral, like a beige kind of neutral colour, something like that. Just for a little boy anyway, that's the best colour for a, um, a little boy. And it says it's 100 grams and it's 310 metres or 339 yards. So <clears throat> I'm doing a 20 inch. I know I'll just get a 20 inch out of this, but I'm going to do the back and one of the sleeves first and weigh them and then weigh what's left on the um, the ball and that'll tell me whether I can do a v-neck or a, um, a buttoned up in it. And it's nice wool to, um, to knit with actually. So that's my little bit. And I've decided that I'm going to knit my orders. I'll be doing back on Dagri's cardigan, to, cardigan tomorrow. Or, or it's a jacket really, it's not an ordinary cardigan. Um, and I'm going to knit my orders Monday to Friday and keep the weekend like what I'm doing now for myself, for anything I want to knit for myself or anything, ones I want to put up on the, um, the shop. I think that would be the best way because if I keep Monday to Friday, I can work all the time. It's daggeries I'm doing at the moment. I'm doing a blanket for her as well as a, um, a cardigan. So I'll be splitting my time between those two things for um, for daggery. And then I have a poncho to do for after that. But I also have a um, cardigan to do for another lady um, who calls herself Tara, Tara King on the... Um, the thing so I'll be fitting that in somewhere as well. So I have to work out these these times because I have been doing it 
um, doing things like this during the day, maybe a couple of hours or something, but it doesn't seem to be working out because I don't seem to have to find a lot of time to to do these things during the day, during the week. I'm having a cup of tea as well. So I think that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try using the week, keeping the weekend for whatever I want to do and uh, Monday to Friday for whatever orders I think um, I'm going to do. But like I'm saying, I'll be going down my granddaughter's um, shortly, so I'll be taking this down there with me when the kids let me do any knitting, <laughs> a little lady especially. And that was just a little bit for today. I will catch up with you all later. So bye for now. Thumbs up and subscribe.